Greetings to you this day. This is Michelle Strickland and I'm coming to you today with my daily theology lesson. It's my daily meditation that I do for myself. I record it and I release it because maybe somebody else out there can get something out of it. It just so happens that I love God and I, you know, and I like theology because I want to become a better principled person. Choose God this day. The bad guys they sin, the good guys they sin. We all sin. It's whom you serve. But if you're going to come to God's team, try to be better, though, you know. You don't have to be perfect, but, but you will have to suffer your consequences. You know, we all do, good or bad. You don't get away from your consequences when you come to God, you know. Love yourself. When you love yourself, if nobody else loves you, you'll be okay, you know. And never give up on yourself because if you have yourself, you can always rebuild, you know. You can always rebuild. For those of you just tuning in, I focus out of three major religious texts, the Bible, the Quran, and I'm in an introductory Buddhist text called The Shape of Suffering, and it deals with dependent co-arising. Without no this, there is no that, and everything we say and do has an effect on our senses, you know. That's just to give you an idea. I try to rotate these texts at least twice a week, sometimes more, sometimes less, depending on how I'm led to meditate each day. Um, so I'm back on the rotation for the Bible. So I'm still in Matthew. I'm still in Matthew chapter 26. Uh, it'll be, uh, I'm going to start up at verse 66 and I'm end at seven, verse 75. Excuse me, my allergies. What think ye? They answered and said, he is guilty of death. I'm talking about Christ. Okay. Then did they spit in his face and buff? buffeted him and others smote him and the palm what excuse me then did they spit in his face and buffeted him and others smote him with the palms of their hands saying prophesy unto us thou christ who is he that smote thee now peter sat within well excuse me now peter sat without in the palace and damsel came unto him saying thou also was with jesus of galilee but he denied before them all, saying, I know not what thou sayest. That's his disciple now. And when he was gone out into the porch, another maid saw him and said unto them, That were, the, that were there. This fellow was also with Jesus of Nazareth. And again he denied with an oath, I do not know the man. After a while came unto him, they stood by and said, to Peter, surely thou also art one of them, for thou speech bereath thee. They began he to curse and to swear, saying, I know not the man, and immediately the cock crew. Peter denied Christ. They said it three times, you know, his disciple. They've, they've made movies about this. This very this very information that these very verses that I'm talking about. They've made movies through the years about it. And Peter remembered the word of Jesus, which said unto him, Before the cock crow, thou shalt deny me thrice. And he went out and wept bitterly. They don't sacrifice Christ, innocent man. That's how they are today. They don't wicked, wicked people, right, bullies and bad guys. 